This is going to be a quick review of the DT8380 infrared thermometer that I received from the internet store LoveDoc. You can find the full link to the device on their website and the usual disclaimer in the video description section below. This is the package that I received, so let's open it. Inside we have the device and the operating manual on English. Just a short introduction of the device itself. Unlike contact thermometers, the infrared thermometers measure the object's temperature from a distance, with no need to be in contact with the object to be measured. The infrared thermal radiation emitted by the object is focused onto a detector inside the device. The output of the detector is an electrical signal proportional to the radiant power. This signal is later converted to digital signal, processed and then displayed in units of temperature. The temperature range for this device is from minus 50 to 380 degrees Celsius. The simplest instruments usually have a measurement error of about plus minus 2 degrees Celsius and this device is one of those. The distance to spot ratio is the ratio of the distance to the measurement surface and the diameter of the temperature measurement area. For this meter this ratio is 12 to 1. The visible laser dot plays no part in the measurement. It's projected onto the center of the area being measured just to identify the area. The actual area being measured is not restricted to the visible spot of the laser beam. Handheld thermometers are fast and convenient, but it is important to note that they only measure surface temperature and do not measure through glass or other transparent surfaces. They can be temporarily affected by moisture, dust, smoke or other particles or a strong electromagnetic field. The device requires two AAA 1.5 volts batteries for operation. As long as you hold the trigger pulled, the meter constantly measures the temperature and updates the display. If you release the trigger, the display retains the last measured value. The laser can be turned off or on by pressing on the laser light key. The backlight can be also turned off or on by pressing on the backlight key. To toggle between the minimum and the maximum values, press the mode button shortly. To toggle between degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit, press the mode button and hold it longer. The next time you turn on the device, it will display the temperature in the units which we selected last. Depending on the surface being measured, for best accuracy we may need to adjust the emissivity value especially if the surface is highly reflective. Most surfaces have high emissivity of over 0.9, however, reflective surfaces have lower emissivity than non-reflective surfaces. The default emissivity for this meter is 0.95. To prevent incorrect readings, this value should be set properly before the measurement. To set the emissivity, first press and hold the laser key and then pull the trigger key. Use the laser and backlight keys to increase or decrease the emissivity value. Use the mode key to switch to the next decimal place or press it again to confirm the selected value. To calibrate the meter and compensate for errors, first press and hold the backlight key and then press the trigger key. Use the laser and backlight keys to increase or decrease the compensation value. Use the mode key to confirm the selected value. Next, we are going to see several examples of using this meter for measuring temperature. 
I've used the default emissivity setting of 0.95 for all measurements. This is an inexpensive and useful device for quick temperature measurements. It's a good build quality device and it has all the usual features for devices of this type and price range. When it comes to accuracy, there are several things that need to be taken into consideration, like for example if the distance to the object was proper or if the emissivity was correctly set, before we can confirm if it is accurate as specified or not. But from all of the examples in the previous section, it appears to be within or close to the specifications. Thank you for watching and goodbye till the next review.